here is to walk you through some of these pH, H, OH, POH problems uh, that really are not that hard. They're just a little intimidating because you're seeing the, um, the log function, uh, an inverse log, which again, you've seen at some point in your math careers. Maybe it's been a while. And again, I'm Emphasizing this is not the natural log or the inverse natural log, which if I remember right, it was like a lowercase e, but we are not dealing with those. There's a log base 10 scale, the pH scale. So I rewrote all five of those equations up there. We'll use those on these. I'm going to work through the, the B problems uh, or the B letters on the 35, 36, 41, and 42, just to kind of show you how they work. If you want more practice, all the answers are in the key. Um, and you can do as much as you want. But again, I think after a couple, you'll get the hang of it. So uh, starting at 35B, and if you've got the uh, packet with you, uh, that would be ideal, but I will write it out. They give us that the H plus concentration is 1.4 times 10 to the negative third. And... Um, they're asking us to calculate the OH concentration, which is interesting. Starting off with probably the most complicated kind of problem. So um, the issue is, if you look at your equations, there is no way to go directly from H to OH. Um, the only thing we can do is if we know the H concentration, I'm looking at the first equation, uh, we can get the PO, pH from that. So step one, find the pH. And the pH is the negative log of 1.4 times 10 to the negative third. So on your calculator, um, again, you need one with a log button, uh, which again, if you got your trusty TI whatever, it should have the log button on it. Um, I've got my phone, and if you didn't know, if you can, you can flip your phone over um, sideways and it should pop up a scientific calc mine does anyway um, so I'm just going to type in every calculator is different negative show you here um, never mind you can't see that oh there we go negative um, log button that is not right let me try it again negative log and then most calculators will pop up a little parenthesis. Um, and then we're just going to type in the uh, 0.0014. I took mine out of scientific notation. And, ooh, my calculator gives me a little answer there. And you're going to get a bunch of uh, numbers on there. There's actually a really funky sig fig rule when you go with these logarithms. Um, I don't really remember what it is, but you lose or gain one depending on which way you go. Not going to use that sig fig rule, just use two sig figs. So that would round up to a pH. Hopefully this matches the key of 2.9. But that's not what we're trying to find. We are trying to find the OH concentration. So look at your formulas. Um, I can't go from pH to OH. There's no formula to do that. But I'm getting closer. So my next step is going to be to go to POH. And um, I could get that from that last formula there, because I know that the POH is 14 minus 2.9. Um, and so that's a, just a quick little math problem there to get you to 11.1. Um, and that, again, is the POH. Now we're in business. Now we can go from P, uh, POH to OH. And so... We are going to plug in that formula to get the OH concentration. We take 1 times 10 to the negative. Um, ooh, how many sig figs should I have used there? Well, if we're using 14, um, or sorry, if we're using just 14 and not 14.0, I'm going to look at the key and see what I did. Um, we are going to... Probably assume 14.0. I think that's what I did in the key. So we'll keep that. So we'll keep our 11.1. And so we're going to do uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 11.1. And so 
plug that into your calculator. Hopefully, I'm looking at the key, you get 7.14 times 10 to the negative 12 molar. Uh, and again, we're trying to find concentrations. So that is the answer. Now the question is, is it acidic or basic or neutral? Um, and to me, the easiest thing to look at is the pH, because you've got your pH scale, you know how that works. Um, and anything below seven is acidic. So this one we would say is acidic, um, which I don't think I have those in the key. But if you look at the pH, that will tell you the answer. Um, okay, my battery is going to die. So I'm going to stop the video here and start up another video on the other problems.